Eye gazing is also known as soul gazing, as the eyes are often said to be the seat of the soul. Now this first exercise is one of the simplest, but also one of the most advanced. As much as we're gonna be sitting and witnessing, there's a lot of emotions that might rise within yourself. And it can actually be really vulnerable to be witnessed and seen by someone so fully. So for eye gazing, we sit in silence, we look at each other, and we just watch. I'll guide you through this, and we'll have a timer come on screen so you can just settle into the practice and not worry. So to start, I want you to get really comfortable. Find a nice seat in front of your partner. You can use a block or cushion or roll up a towel underneath your hips to make sure that you can sit and be stable and comfortable for the whole practice. You can sit with your knees touching each other, or you can have your own space. You could also have your hands touching each other on each other's knees, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then once you get settled, I invite you to look at your partner's left eye that keeps it stable, and then you know where you're looking for the whole time. If at any point you get uncomfortable and it's a little bit too scary or there's too much emotion going on, instead of looking away, I invite you to close your eyes your partner can still witness you and your partner can stay in the practice. Whenever you're ready, you open your eyes again. There's no judgment. And I invite you to enter this practice with the intention and the energy of love. This practice invites us more into compassion, to connection, and to intimacy. So when you're ready, get settled. Look at your partner's left eye and then sit in silence. There will be a bell at the end of the time and I'll come back. Now that you've witnessed each other, I invite you to share your experience. So you'll have one minute each person to share anything that came up for you, anything that was alive. And then when the bell happens, the partner can say thank you, and then you'll switch and you'll have a minute to share. So it's not a conversation, just one minute for one person, one minute for the next person, and then I'll come back at the end.
So this was the experience of eye gazing. The practice of soul gazing or eye gazing can be really intense. The longer you do it, the more the experience can invite you within yourself to come to all those edges, emotions, realizations, questions. You know, are you okay? Is your partner okay? What are they going through? What are you going through? Any of those things that are going through your mind. And then maybe you start having a psychedelic experience. Sometimes you can start seeing all sorts of things. That's why it's a really advanced practice. So the longer you spend in it, the more you're gonna find. So I invite you to take any time between 30 seconds and 30 minutes to play with that on your own. However, I do recommend that you do this practice regularly with your partner, even for a minute at a time, because it invites so much compassion and vulnerability. So now that we've witnessed each other, and now that we're on the same page, let's dive into the next lesson when we're gonna breathe together. So we become in the same sync, in the same rhythm, and then we start to become even more connected and more in tune. So I'm excited to share those practices with you. Let's go.